Hey guys, Vass here from Aussie Aussie Playground and today I'm going to do a very quick video just to show you some of the features of the Sky RC RS16 charger. Now this is both a charger and power supply that you, you buy separately. Uh, you can have a different power supply to this one here if you're not comfortable having the charger sitting on top of the power supply, but they are designed to integrate with each other uh, and it's actually a very neat and, and simple system that uh, gives you a very small footprint uh, of a charger rather than having the charger itself and then the huge you know separate power supply uh, sort of to the side of the charger uh, and I've been very very happy with it so I've had a few people ask me to uh, take you through some of the menus and show you some of the features that it has and uh, I figured yeah why not do a quick video and show you all of that now um, I've currently got the uh, I, I pretty much have the charger uh, plugged in the whole time uh, because it has an on and off switch here on the side so if I go ahead and uh, turn this guy on um, it boots up and uh, there we go, we have our LiPo balance. Now we can flick over to the left here and uh, just go to the uh, main menus and you can select different battery chemistries there just by pushing down. You've got battery memory just there, uh, system setup. So you've got various different options, version there, temperature of the units. Um, you can turn the beeps on and off if you want. And uh, little timers things like that and we're going back around so just flick over to the left to get out of that menu keep scrolling down uh, lipo battery meter uh, this is actually pretty good because I um, what I can do here just show you a very quick example I've got this uh, 2200 3s which I've been using on my Bixler uh, we'll plug this guy in and I'll show you very quickly just how all this works so uh, the balance board is very nice and simple to use um, you've got it all sort of color coded so your 2s is in white and 3s is in black and so on uh, very nice and simple to use so I'll just plug my 3s battery in there I'll flick over to the right and it uh, tells me the voltage of each cell and uh, for a zippy battery you know a fairly cheap battery I think this was like 10 bucks or something or even less than that uh, very well balanced you can see there's only 0.1 of a volt difference on this particular cell here so very nice uh, and then we can scroll down and it'll give you a total main voltage there uh, I'm not 100% sure what these two bottom ones are but I guess you can always uh, fill that in in the comments below and uh, that's pretty much it so we can exit out of this more battery chemistries there so pretty straightforward there's really not a huge amount of things that you can do with this but for basic charging um, I think this is uh, perfect for what I need now it is a 16 amp charger and uh, even with balance here you can you can discharge uh, storage you got fast charging or just plain charge so I always balance charge my uh, my batteries, so I constantly have it left on that uh, on that screen. And then to select how many amps you want to charge at, uh, you can scroll down here. So you flick over to the right to select it, and you just scroll down to what you want. I always leave it on 16 amps uh, purely because. Um, it sort of varies, um, the, bat the charger adjusts according to the, to the size of the battery that you're charging. Uh, so it's actually uh, very, very good in that regard. You've got 3S here, you can scroll down to 2S, 6S, um, you go 4S, 5S, 6S, and so on. So uh, it doesn't do 1S unfortunately, but uh, that's okay because I don't have any anyway. So now we've got all that selected. Uh, now this is a 3S pack as I said, so all we need to do to start the charge is press and hold to the right. It'll give me a nice check to make sure everything's correct. Press, uh, press to the right again, just one quick click and it should start. So I was a little bit too slow there. And press and away we go. It's now charging. So it'll start off, obviously here it's very cold, um, so power output is actually quite low. You'll see the amps start to climb up a little bit. It'll peak to a certain point and then it'll start to drop down again as the battery starts to charge up. Um, very rarely do I have batteries that will go all the way to 16 amps and, and kind of hover there. They do peak at 16 amps, but they don't normally stay there. It starts to come down uh, considerably once um, you know the, the, the charger recognizes that the battery is starting to get full. Um, I always leave it at 16 amps. It doesn't matter if I'm charging at 2200 or if I'm charging 
a 5900 2S like this uh, because it does adjust accordingly. I've never had any issues with my batteries. They, they stay uh, very reasonably cool. They do not overheat. Um, they don't, uh, yeah, it's just, it works beautifully. It's, it charges them up very quickly uh, and you can see the amps climbing up quite a bit now. Um, voltage is climbing up a bit as well. So um, you'll see the fans will kick in at some point. So once this starts to get a little bit um, up here, you'll hear the fans kick in. And um, yeah, it is just a, a brilliant, brilliant charger. I'm very, very happy with it. Hasn't let me down. Um, I have heard that apparently there are some copies floating around. So you do need to be very vigilant uh, when purchasing something like this. Make sure you get it from a reputable seller, whether it be on eBay or an independent online store of some sort. Um, I do know that high tech have recently bought out uh, an exact replica of this um, but obviously being high tech it's, it's going to be a reliable unit I know the tower hobbies stock them uh, and I'm almost half attempted to get myself one of the high tech ones as well because I've been so happy with this that I actually want to try the high tech and see if there's any difference if it does anything differently at all so uh, very very impressed with this charger and um, yeah I just uh, thought I'll give you a quick demonstration of how it works and um, you can see here that it's uh, it's doing the job brilliantly so um, batteries like this uh, you know 2200 milliamp charging at uh, you know 10 plus amps you'll see that it's um, now it's climbed up to about 11 amps and uh, sure enough you'll see here that this um, once I think it hits max, you'll hear the fans kick in, so hopefully you'll hear that. Alright, so the fans have now kicked in. It's taken a few minutes to get there. Uh, the charger was actually hovering around the 14.5 amps. That's roughly where it peaked. Uh, so, you, you know, as I said, it does not go to 16 amps all the time. It's now dropped down to about 12.2 amps. It looks like it's dropping already. Now that the, ch the battery is starting to fill up a bit, um, you'll notice that it, it'll drop down. So it's gone down to just below seven amps and uh, it'll keep uh, varying its ampage uh, depending on uh, what's happening with the battery. So very, very impressed with this charger. If you're contemplating something like this, it's, it's a worthy investment. It charges batteries a lot quicker than my previous charger, which I hardly use now, only if I'm in a, in a bit of a rush and I want to get, uh, and I have more than you know a few batteries to charge up, do I use it? Uh, but generally, this is my go-to charger now. Uh, really reliable, easy to use, and uh, does a great job. So for me, uh, I'm I'm really really happy with it. Uh, but that's it from uh, for me for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button before you go. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask them below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, thanks again, and I'll speak to you guys next time. <music>